welcome back viewers so in today's video we are going to discuss about the uh, blood supply of the hand how actually the hand is being supplied it is being supplied by two arches two arches two arterial arches one is the superficial palmar arch and the other one is the deep palmar arch so in today's video initially we will be discussing about the superficial palmar arch okay the terminal part of the ulnar artery and the terminal part of the radial artery will anastomose to form this superficial palmar arch how is it formed so this forms the major blood supply to your hand hand okay so this is formed by the anastomosis between the terminal parts of the ulnar and radial arteries radial arteries okay so this is an arterial arcade which is present in the palm arterial arcade which is present in the palm now we will see how actually is it formed so you know the ulnar artery the ulnar artery which passes along the ulnar aspect of your hand or the medial ulnar and medial mean the same and radial and lateral will mean the same so the ulnar artery passes along the medial aspect of the forearm and it is accompanied by the ulnar nerve throughout its course in the forearm and then on reaching the hand it passes superficial to flexor retinaculum it passes superficial so this is the flexor retinaculum which is a modification of the deep fascia so it passes superficial to flexor retinaculum okay and then you see one subcutaneous muscle is present that is the palmaris brevis palmaris brevis so this ulnar artery it passes deep to this palmaris brevis muscle where it will divide into a deep and a superficial branch okay so beneath the palmaris brevis the ulnar artery will divide into a superficial and a deep branch okay so the deep branch will pass deep to the flexor tendons and the superficial branch will pass superficial to the flexor tendons okay so this superficial part of the ulnar artery superficial part of the ulnar artery you see you will have your palmar aponeurosis over here which is one more modification of the deep fascia and we have discussed that the palmar aponeurosis will provide protection to the underlying structures that is all these arteries so this is present below the palmar aponeurosis so that is why i didn't show the palmar aponeurosis in this diagram so if the palmar aponeurosis is present like this the superficial branch of ulnar artery which is there it will pass below the palmar aponeurosis and it will pass superficial to the long flexor tendons you see these are all the flexor tendons which are reaching the fingers or the digits for their insertion they have their muscles in the forearm and those insertions they are reaching up to the fingers long flexor tendons so it passes superficial to the long flexor tendons and you have got the lumbrical muscles which take origin from this long flexor tendons so they pass superficial to the long flexor tendons lumbrical muscles and you can see here carefully i have represented the digital branches of the median nerve okay so it passes uh, the superficial branch of ulnar artery it passes deep to the palmar aponeurosis and superficial to the long flexor tendons and the lumbrical muscles and to the digital branches of the 
median nerve and it will take a turn. It will take a curve, curve towards the radial side. It will take a curve towards the radial side like this. Okay. And the deep branch which is there, it is entering deep to this long flexor tendons. So that deep branch which is there, it will take part in the formation of the deep palma arch, which we will discuss later. So the superficial branch of the ulnar artery or this is nothing but the continuation, termination of the ulnar artery which will anastomose with one of the branches of the radial artery. You know the radial artery it extends along the lateral aspect of the forearm and uh, on reaching the palm, on reaching the palm it will give three branches. So, one of the branch will complete the superficial palm arch. So, what are the branches of the radial artery which can complete this superficial palm arch? So, the branches of radial artery. So, one is the superficial palm arch branch of radial artery if not that arteria princeps pollicis that is the one which is given to the thumb arteria radialis indices so that is the branch which is given to your index finger or otherwise it is completed by arteria nervi mediana. So that is the artery which will accompany the median nerve. So one of these four branches of the radial artery will complete the arch from the radial aspect from this side. So those two will anastomose and they will form one arch. That is what we are referring to as a superficial palmar arch. So if you have to describe the superficial palmar arch, you will describe it like it is an arterial arcade which is seen in the palm which is formed by the superficial branch of ulnar artery and it is completed by one of these four branches of the radial artery. Remember, the superficial farmer arch is formed by the superficial branch of ulnar artery and it is completed by the radial artery, one of the branches of the radial artery. So, what are those branches? Superficial palmar branch, so the one which I have drawn. Otherwise, the arteria princess pollicis. Or otherwise it is completed by arteria radialis indices or arteria nervi mediana. So these are all the branches of radial artery which can complete the superficial palma arch from the lateral aspect. So how do you locate this? Where is it exactly located? You see this convexity, convexity. So if you put your outstretched thumb like this, the Convexity will coincide with the distal border of your outstretched thumb. So, this is the distal border. Okay. So, here you will have your superficial palm arch. So, it is corresponding with the distal border of your outstretched thumb. It will be like this. Okay. That is how you locate the superficial palm arch. Now, what are the branches given off by this superficial palm arch? So, the branches of superficial palm arch are, it gives off four palm digital branches. So, it gives off four palm digital branches. To which fingers? To the medial four fingers. Medial four fingers. So how are these digital branches actually arranged? So out of this, 
one is a proper branch proper digital branch and three are common digital branches now what do we mean by this proper digital branch and common digital branch so suppose you have got your fingers like this okay i've got the thumb like this right so if the artery is supplying one finger like this we say that is a proper digital branch suppose the artery is reaching up to the web space of the finger and it is supplying the adjacent sides of two fingers we say it is a common this one is a common digital branch which is again dividing into a proper digital branch understood so this is a proper digital branch and this is the common digital branch when it is directly supplying only one digit we say it is a proper digital branch so the branches of the superficial palmar arch are four palmar digital branches of which one is a proper digital branch and remaining three are common digital branches so how are they actually present so the first proper digital branch will supply the medial aspect of the little finger it will supply the medial aspect of the little finger next i told you there are three common digital branches so one two and three now these common digital branches at the web spaces so these are what we call as web spaces at the web spaces they will divide into proper digital branches which will supply the adjacent parts of the fingers see like this okay so the common digital branches they are supplying the adjacent parts of the fingers so except the radial part of the index finger and the thumb remaining all digits are being supplied by the branches of this superficial palmar arch now what about this thumb and this radial part or the lateral part of your index finger that is being supplied by the branches of the deep palmar arch which we'll see in the next session okay so the superficial palmar arch it will give four palmar digital branches one proper digital branch which will supply the medial part of your little finger and three common digital branches which will divide the web spaces to supply the adjacent parts of the remaining digits so except the lateral part of your index finger and the thumb remaining all digits are getting their blood supply from this superficial palmar arch so coming to its location i repeat it is located at the distal border of your outstretched thumb the convexity will lie exactly at the distal border of your outstretched thumb so with this we complete the superficial palmar arch so this is one of the frequently asked question in your examination so uh, i hope it's clear and you all have understood thank you for watching